Guess what? Fall is coming. But are your outfits ready for it? With these seven tips for sure. Also, we're creating one outfit for each tip. Let's start off simple and with the first tip, which is regarding colors. We all know that in fall, there is like a specific color palette that we just love and adore. You can mix and match how you want to because they all naturally work together really well. Usually when using these colors in fall outfit, we not use them in like intense versions, but more in like toned down versions, like a nice dark red, a mustard yellow, or like a really nice olive green these are some really great shades also colors like black white and gray you can always add as much as you like because they don't bother the outfit so the first outfit I want to start off with a nice cute top that I have then I want to add this black white leg pair of pants which is also high-waisted that's important for the crop top because otherwise you're probably getting a bit cold cute little white belt and a white purse then I want to add more four colors with this cute little brown coat and then for the shoes I have this really nice pair of mustard yellow boots they are going Going to be great with the top. And then we're adding a little bit of extra spice with this cute necklace. Every main color you can think of it's included so this one you can basically add to every outfit. First of all outfit ladies and gentlemen, do you see that every color is basically reflecting like the black, black, white, white, white and then the yellow, yellow. What would you rate this outfit? I kind of want to give it a 9 because I kind of want to save my 10 for maybe some later outfits so Anyway, great start. Let's go to the next one. Next tip, which is quite obvious for fall, layering. At least two layers are usually necessary because in fall it's kind of a mixture of temperatures. So it's always good to be prepared and at least have like a second layer that you can put over the top or remove if you want to. The next outfit here, I want to start off with this really pretty red top. For layering, I would not just include jackets, but also a scarf. The jacket that you don't want to put over the top could either something be a little more lightweight or maybe something a little bit thicker for the really cold days, like a little puffer jacket. It might also be possible to wear them both. Any way you want it, you can have it. So this is basically the top half we're using. For the bottom, I use this dark pair of flare jeans. For the shoes, I use this white pair of loafers. Then also spice it up with some more accessories. Like here, I also have this dark red belt and the matching bag for it. Isn't it cute? I know it looks like a lot, but the fun thing about layering is that you can take off something if you want to. So if this is too much for the fall day, you can just easily take it off. And then you can have it more like this. Love the scarf and I love that the red is basically reflecting in so many areas like the red bag, the red top, the red belt, and also there's a little bit of this dark red in the scarf too. Also the cardigan has like thumb holes, which I personally love. Pants, shoes, everything is super comfortable. So I want to give this outfit actually a 10 out of 10 because I think so many nice things in combination. Going to school, going to office, I think this is quite a versatile outfit. So I really, really like it. For the next tip, we're taking a look at the right fall tops because there are so many options to choose from. You could choose like sweaters, hoodies, cardigans, vests or even a duffel coat if you ever heard of it. I'm going to show it to you later. There's especially one item that is like perfect for fall and that is a leather jacket. I mean it's too warm for summer, it's too cold for winter so when would be the right time to wear it? Then to go with the leather jacket I want to add this cute little mustard yellow top. It is just such a pretty sweater. I also want to add a bag but I'm not quite sure which one of these I'm going to use. I think I'm going to decide once I try it on. For the pants I use these white skinny jeans really nice pair of mustard yellow boots let's try it okay this really is quite an unusual style for me because basically all the time I'm wearing like high-waisted stuff crop tops this is more like my theme but since the jacket is also not cropped I thought okay let's go with the theme of the jacket I like the style though it looks a bit edgy more cool I would kind of give this outfit an 8 out of 10 just because my personal preferences are like high-waisted crop tops cinched in effect but it's still a great fall outfit and I just kind of wanted to show how things like that could look like. For the next tip, we're done with the tops, now we go to the bottoms. I mean, yes, there's so many options to choose from, like jeans, flare pants, white leg pants, or some cargo pants. What I came across lately were just so many like statement pair of pants, and I just love them. They are so great, and I want to show you my favorite pair that I bought. It's this one. Look at it! It has like so many fall colors. It's not a white leg pair of jeans pants or something like that. It's more like a jeggings material, which makes it just 
it's so nice to wear because it's really flexible. I don't want to add like too much stuff here, so I want to keep it simple with the white sweater. Then I want to also add this cute little, I don't know what is it, a coat, a jacket, something in between. Then again, I'm using the swipe belt that I have and my white loafers. Um, hello. Look at these pants. I love the different colors. It's just so cute. I just recommend getting these. I'm going to link them in the description. I mean, the outfit in general is super cute, but the pants are just doing like everything they can. So I want to give this outfit a 10 out of 10. I think the pants itself already deserve a 10. So you can also wear it without the jacket, depending on how warm it is, right? Okay, the next piece deserves its own tip because it's just so great. If you take one thing from this video, let it be this one. Did you ever heard about thermal tights? Because you're going to need them for fall. Basically look like a normal pair of black tights. Black. They actually have a fleece inner layer, which makes it so nice and warm. This is so great because this makes every skirt and dress wearable for fall again. I want to add a cute little black skirt because I think this is quite simple. Then this pair of boots that I have, they have a heel, but it's not too high and you can definitely wear them all day. They are great. It's fall, so I got to use this brown sweater. It's just such a cute one I have. It has this cute little purse and then two more accessories. The first one is this cute belt and then this black beret. Should we try it? Ooh, I love this one. Uh, I mean, I'm personally a sucker for a cinched in waist, really big fan of skirts, dresses, and the thermal tights, they just make it possible for me to wear in the fall and winter, so all year around, I just love them. So please get one of them. The outfit itself, I give a 10 out of 10 because it's definitely not a, one of my favorites. It's so cute. I just love the sweater. And to be honest, it is so warm. It's like a really thick knitted fabric. It is definitely quite cozy. Next category, shoes, because there are so many options to choose from. There are boots, overknees, flats, sneakers, really quite a variety. And my favorite pair for fall is just overknees. I have quite a lot of them. And here I'm going to show you my favorite pair, this white pair. I know white may not be that perfect for fall because it could get muddy, but to be honest, they add so much elegance to an outfit. It is really incredible. Let's just use the simple pair of skinny jeans. Then again, a cute little sweater that I have. Also, I want to add this bag because I think the gray kind of works really well with the outfit. This outfit isn't really too crazy but the shoes really do some magic here let me show you well hello do you see what i mean i love these shoes and the whole outfit is definitely so much better if you add this little bit of spice to it i think it's so pretty i personally want to give this outfit a 10 out of 10 just because the shoes alone for me get a 10 out of 10 they are just so pretty i love them like look at these shoes and they are really nice to walk in because they do have like a plateau and the heel is actually not too thin so it's actually really nice to walk in them and the last tip is accessories because accessories can do so much in fall outfits i again want to start simple off here with like a black pair of flare pants high-waisted nothing special to it and a simple white sweater so together i mean they are quite simple but with accessories we can pump this up first of all this cute little red beret i've used the beret before also in fall what you can wear on maybe some colder fall days some gloves and i have the perfect match right here they work together so well then a cute bag which kind of represents the colors that we're using with the white and the black my white loafers again and now the last and final piece which is also one of my favorite pieces for fall is the duffel coat here it is the duffel coat is basically like a coat but without sleeves also because they don't have sleeves they might be a bit too cold for winter but for fall I think they are great and now let's try on the whole outfit I just love this duffel coat. It works so well with all the accessories. Love the gloves, love the hat. I already give this outfit a 10 out of 10 because it's definitely one of my favorite outfits for this colder season. So, uh, it's so pretty. Also, the back works super well here too because the white, 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 and black, black, black. Next season is coming too, so if you want to see some winter tips, be sure to subscribe and keep watching.